Hi everyone, it's me, Ellie Diamond from RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 2 and today I'm going to be showing you how i done my makeup for the A Little Bit of Love performance as well as the runway from the finale of RuPaul's Drag Race UK <gasps> Season 2! I think that's quite funny. <laughs> But before we get into this video, congratulations, Lawrence, on winning the crown! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Lawrence, I am so proud that you brought the crown home from Scotland. Congratulations, doll, and I cannot wait to see what you do with the crown. But without further ado, let's get this video started. Right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our contour stick from Primark again, and we're just gonna draw out some fierce arched eyebrows. Shocked eyebrows of the Grinch. I guess I could use a little social interaction. <sighs> right, so now that we have our eyebrows drawn, we're just going to go underneath our eyebrows with some Snazaroo Clown White and we're gonna conceal around them. I'm then gonna take some of the Revolution Conceal and Define in shade F2 and conceal on the top of the eyebrows as well. Right, so taking some of that foundation, we're now just gonna go in. Girl, they be screaming down there. Taking some of the foundation now, we're just going to go on top and conceal on the top of the eyebrows. Now I'm just going to speed through the rest of my base makeup. You've seen me done that before and if you want a full in-depth tutorial on my base and my foundations, go check out my previous dolled up with diamonds as I go more in depth and tell you really all I use. Everything I use is mostly the contour stick, Snazzaroo Clown White and the Revolution Conceal and Define. So I'm going to speed through my base and I'll be back to do the eyes. Does that smell like fish supper? That smells a bit fish and chips. They really are red, aren't they? Yeah, they're like really red. Yikes. Not high, I'm actually just had a sh** bit of makeup on just before I filmed this video. Okay, so now that we have the face all powdered, we're gonna go in with the KVD Long Wear Pomade for your eyebrows. And I'm actually gonna use this to draw out my crease shape so we can start blending it out with some eyeshadow. So I've used the red on the top of my eyes and then I'm, oh, this is really tight. to use the pink on the bottom of my eyes. Okay, so now that we have the eyes mapped out, I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Bay Brights palette. I literally will pick this palette up every single time I want to do something bright and colorful. Um, and I'm gonna go in with a couple of shades. Brushes. Period. Okay, to set these colors, I'm gonna go in with Hot Stuff from the pa palette first, and I'm just gonna go in and set this red. And then for underneath my eyes, I'm gonna go in with Make Them Wink, and I'm gonna just smoke that out on the bottom, as well as set that pink. And then taking a fluffy brush, I'm just going to go back into hot stuff and start building up the red colour. And then just on a small round fluffy brush, we're going to go in head over heels, but we're going to take the shade head over heels from the Beauty Bay palette. And we're just going to start smoking out and deepening this crease a little bit more. 
mad the choreography that we had to do for this. Like we came in on the day and they were like, right, so we're doing the song. And we're like, yes, finally, top four song, here we go. And we came in to do the uh, dancing. I can't remember who the director, the dancer was. I think his name is Jay. And we started doing the dance and I was like, okay, I can kind of pick this up, but it was just going to take a long time to get all the moves because a lot of it was like piece after piece after piece after piece after and everything was choreographed from beginning to end. So trying to remember all of that within like not even a day and um, was quite difficult and doing it in front of cameras as well as in front of the rest of the entire, you know, crew as well as queens that arrived back was a bit stressful, but um, hopefully it looked good on the end. You look like you fell in the bins. And then taking a clean fluffy brush, we're gonna go in with the Brenda LeBeau palette. And we're just gonna start to diffuse that red a little bit more. Especially underneath the brow bone. Okay, now switching on to the bottom eyes, I'm gonna take back that make them wink color and I'm just gonna start to smoke that out under that lash line. And then take more of a flat fluffy brush. We're gonna go in with a bit of um, deep purple, just to smoke it out underneath as well, just to add some more dimension. I'm gonna actually go in with the Brenda palette and take the hot pink shade right at the bottom and just press that right up against it. Going back up to the eye, taking some black, and we're just gonna put some black right on the outer edges, just to deepen the crease and add some more dimension as well. And then just swapping in between the black and the red, we're just gonna further blend this crease out. Now that the eyes are pretty much complete, I'm gonna go off camera and clean up these lines here where the red goes into the white. Uh, just clean them up so we can put some clown white on them, which you've seen me do a thousand times. So I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be back to do eyeliner. $10 Fortnite card. Who wants it? Okay, so now that I've finished doing my white cut crease, which you've seen me do a couple of times, all I use is this Nazaru clown white and I just set it with a Brenda LeBeau palette in the white eyeshadow, right? And now we're gonna go in with our tattoo liner from Kat Von. Now we're gonna go in with our cat. Now we're gonna go in with our KVD tattoo ink liner and we're just gonna map out our eye and then we're gonna con uh, <laughs> Then we're gonna set it with our collection fast stroke eyeliner. Sake we got there. And then fill it in. And then just tilt your head back and let that liner set. If you want to be extra, you can set it with some black eyeshadow as well. It's really cool because, I mean, we got told the night before that we were going to be doing, obviously, the song. So um, have a verse prepared. And I had prepared a verse before going back anyways. Me and Anne had sat down and we wrote a verse together for it because I was like well if I make the top four I need a really cool or I make the top three or whatever I need a really really cool verse and something that's like fun or whatever so we wrote something I had to adapt to because the song was all about love so I was like I can't really throw everyone under the bus again sorry I hold up Wow. Oh. I like kind of adapted the verse while I was there, but I already had the verse done, but Lawrence didn't have a verse at all. She had used her finale verse for the UK Hun challenge. So the night before she was like, I've literally not got a verse at all. And I was like, I'll try to come up with something and see if I can conjure up, conjure up? Conjure up a verse and then in the bus the next day I was like right I think I've got something and I recited her verse and she was like oh my god babes it's absolutely fabulous it's can I use that can I use it and I was like yeah it's fine just use it she said I adapted a couple of uh, uh, phrases as well like the mama Roo came from above but that was from her but the rest of it was from me and I felt very proud of myself because that was very good to make that in, in the hotel the night before eating my wagamamas 
Yeah, it was fabulous. It was fabulous. Uh, okay, so we have just finished doing our eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with a little fluffy angled brush, a little bit more of that black and the red mixed together, and we're just gonna start smoking up these outer edges. Just like that. And then we're gonna take some more of the red and help further blend it. Well, that looks pink. That's okay. So now going in with a little flat angled brush, we're going to take the Elements palette from the Elements palette from Give Face Cosmetics and we're gonna fill in our eyebrows and make them dark and stark so you can see them in the pitch black. <laughs> Girl, whatever. You're putting eyebrows on, right? Taking a black to do the outer edges. And then a medium brown color for the front. Is that a bird? A bird? Oh, I see it. I see the bird. Do you see it? Yeah, I see the bird That's shape. That's so cute. I tweak, tweak. What did you say? So we're just adding some black on that lower lash line, smoking it out so we can seal our bottom lashes. Now that the eyes are pretty much complete, I am going to what was that? brush off this powder under my eyes. Then taking the KVD powder foundation, we're just going to go in and start to add a couple of more dimensions to the face. Just bronze it up. And now going in with the Give Face Cosmetics Visage Palette, I'm gonna go in with my contour colors, which is just the two colors at the bottom of the palette here. And we're gonna start deepening that contour. It was such a gag when all the queens returned because we were just sort of chilling. We were just finished doing rehearsals. We were just chilling. And then they all just walked through the curtain and it was sort of like the man behind the curtain, the Wizard of Oz, and everyone just came th flooding through, which was so cool to see them all again. It's been so long, especially with lockdown, like getting to see Veronica again, Veronica coming back, which was so, I'm so glad she was able to make it. I mean, especially after the lockdown that uh, she's had, I'm so glad that she's now in a place where she's like able to come back to the competition and she, you know, season three is just around the corner. So who knows, maybe she's back and maybe she's no, but um, hope you're Team Veronica when that comes out. Does the Pope sh the woods? <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go in with some blush. We're taking it from the Give Face palette again. We're gonna go in and we're gonna make our cheeks nice and blushy. With some peach and orange tones. And a little bit on the end of the nose as well, just to blush the tip. Okay, I'm gonna go in with some white eyeliner. I'm gonna fix up these edges around my eyes. So we're gonna go in with our Revolution highlighter and I'm just gonna highlight the normal places that I usually do, but I'm gonna bring it slightly up onto that brow as well. I'm just gonna quickly chuck some mascara on. So just before I get into the lips, how cool was it that I got to have a chance to sit down and talk with RuPaul and Michelle during this episode? It was so special getting to pick their brains. When you're sitting at home, there's obviously like a thousand, a hundred trillion billion things you want to ask RuPaul or Michelle Visage in that case. But when you're there, I literally had forgotten everything and I was just sort of in the moment, whatever they were speaking to me about, I was just sort of answering. So if you were to say, oh, repeat the entire conversation right here, right now, I cannot remember it and I've not watched the episode yet, so I've not got a clue. Okay, so for my lips, I'm just gonna take a Give Face pencil and I'm just gonna outline the normal lip shape that I do. And then just taking a Revolution Red liquid lipstick, I'm just going to fill that in.
Okay, so now that the face is pretty much complete, I'm gonna go off camera, add some rhinestones, lashes, wigs, and my costume, and I'll be right back with the finished look. It's Ellie Love, and here is the finished look from the group performance of A Little Bit of Love. The hair I styled myself from two old red wigs that I had, and I bought some hot pink uh, tracks that I just cut up and sort of hot glued in place. The nails I had done myself, these are the nails that I wore in the advert. The shoes were my original Dorothy shoes that my friend Natalie and Auburn helped me rhinestone just before leaving for the show. And the jewelry, I just found these in a little vintage shop with my mum. And the gorgeous costume is by Christopher Hardcastle Costumes. This challenge was so much fun to do because it's the top four song. That's the moment that, especially for me, I was waiting for that chance to get to the top four or to get to the final to be able to record a RuPaul track is such a dream came true. And I'm so glad that, you know, it went well and the performance was great. All the queens came back and we had a huge campo time. Fun fact, once we had finished doing the performance, we had done it twice. One just to block the cameras and then the last one was the last one with the confetti cannons and everything. So when we came back into the workroom and I was, you know, it was hot, I was sweaty. This costume was quite warm as well. I was taking my powder brush and I was tapping it over and I could see makeup literally sweating off my face. It was sweating off. So I was like, right, I literally have no time to try to fix this. Let me just take my entire face off. So I took my entire face off that I had on for the performance. I then done a brand new face in about 45 to an hour, as well as brand new face, hair, nails, jewelry, and the finale dress all within about like that time period. So it was stressful, but we got it done in the end. I'm gonna go off camera and do my base, and then we're gonna get onto the eyes for my finale runway. Okay, so now that we have my base back on, I'm gonna go in with the contour stick from Primark in Rich Espresso. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that, put it on the back of the hand, just to dap off some of the extra. And we're gonna outline our crease in the brown color. And then with a small fluffy brush, we're gonna go in with the Elements palette from Give Face. It's just a nice neutral nude color. And we're gonna go in with uh, the shade just here and we're gonna start blending that crease out. Okay, now taking more of a bigger, dense, fluffier brush, we're gonna go in with sort of a peachy orange tone. Because the dress is sort of like a peachy coral pink, we're just going to go in with that colour and incorporate that into the eyes. Um, okay. Um, okay, so we're going to go in with a bit of a darker brown from the same um, Elements palette from Give Face, and we're going to start smoking out the eyelid. Eyelid? What is it called? Eyelid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't know. Smoke that out here. When I finally got the call on to be on Drag Race and obviously we had to bring a finale dress, one of the like first things my brain went to, I was like, well, I need to be like a big princess. Like it needs to be like a big, huge sort of gown silhouette. Um, and when I was getting ready for the show, I knew that I wanted to be in, uh, inspired by Glinda from The Wizard of Oz. So I got Call Me By Sophia, uh, someone who, when I saw Blue's outfit from last year, I went, that's fierce. I was like, I need something like that, like show stopping like that. So. I contacted Sophia and luckily she had enough time to put this look together and girl she done done it and she done done it and it's huge there's so much fabric and when we first walked out onto the runway I didn't really know how to walk in it because I'd never wore it before so I was like mm, confidently taking my steps in the runway and then tripped over the front of it and I was like and then picked it up and just like had to carry on the runway. But the second time I done the runway, cause you do the runway without, one without music and then one with music for the judges commentary and then a few for the fantasy. Um, and the second time I done it, I like picked up the skirt and it was nice, flawless. So um, hopefully that's the one they used, do you know what I mean? But um, we're gonna go in now with a little bit of a darker brown as well as a little bit of a black. And we're just gonna start smoking out these edges here again. I'm then gonna go in with a white from the Brenda LeBeau palette. Bow. I can never remember that one. Brendel bow. And we're just going to smoke that. Uh, well, we're just going to put that underneath the eyelid. Under, uh, underneath. 
underneath the brow bone, bleh, underneath the brow bone, just to make that point look like it's coming forward and being, you know, gorgeous. Coming forward and being gorgeous. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay, now taking some of the same shadow that we've used on the top of the eyes and just smoking it out on the bottom, not really paying too much attention to this, just adding some colour there as well. I felt rough and rough. What? Rough and rushed when I was doing the makeup for the finale because they were literally like, we need to make you. And I was like, girl, I've not got any makeup on. They can't make me without the makeup on. And then it was... Oh, you know, like we're about to hit the runway and I'm standing there, full dress on, wig on, no jewellery, no nails, being like, I need, I need, I need help, assistance, assistance, I need something, but it was, it was quite stressful. Are you in need of any assistance today, sir? No. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna go in with a Q-tip like we normally do, take some of this, is it Mar Marcilla water? Cause I say Marcilla water, but there's no R. And then we're just gonna clean up the crease, you know, up there like we normally do. There was like loads of looks from this season of Drag Race that I would have worn myself. Like I think a lot of Ahura's runways I loved. I, I loved a lot of Ahura's runways. And if I were to wear any of her runways, I'd probably wear her fish and chips look because I love it. It's I think it's so camp. Like when I go to her flat, I'm gonna be like. Go pull that dress out because I want to put it on. Well, the field tea on the fish and chips outfit. Actually, fun fact about that. Me and Ahura were FaceTiming during the pandemic. Don't tell BBC because they weren't supposed to. During the pandemic, we were FaceTiming quite a lot. And she went, oh, I've got the fish and chips looking out. Oh yeah, I remember that from the workroom, which I did because I went through everyone's wardrobe because I went, I want to see what these girls have. Um, because when I was unpacking, I was like, oh, wow, this stuff is just like body suits and chaps and a bit of fun fire, but anyways. So I went around the wardrobes and I seen a horse fish and chip look and I was like, oh, that's really fierce. But when we were FaceTiming, she was like, oh yeah, fish and chips, blah, 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 blah. So it was fresh in my mind. And then when me and sister were FaceTiming, don't tell ABC, uh, she was like, oh, I've got this great idea for the fish, uh, for the, uh, seaside runway and I went oh yeah what is that and she went oh I'm doing this like fish and chips like and it was all this and that and she was like I was like oh that's what Hort is doing so they both knew before coming back that that's the tea that's what was going to happen here's the motherfucking tea okay so now that we have cut our crease with my cellar water, we're gonna go in with our snazaroo clown white again I'm gonna pick that up on the brush Warm up in the back of our hands, and then we're gonna cut our crease. Okay, now going in with a big fluffy brush and taking the white from the Brenda palette again, we're just gonna set that. Okay, now that the crease is all uh, set with the white powder, we're just gonna go back in with some of our brown brushes and just brighten up those colors again. Just to make sure all the colors are prominent and they are popping. <laughs> Thank you. You make me sick. Do you know that? After what you've done, you don't know how lucky you are. Okay, so now that we have set our eyes and our eyes are basically done, we're gonna go in with our tattoo liner from KVD Beauty and we're just gonna map out our wing. Okay, so now that I've outlined it, I'm gonna go in with my collection liner and we're just gonna fill it in. Work, supermodel work, cover girl. And then taking some black on a small, dense, angled fluffy brush, we're just gonna blend up that black underneath the lash line. And now taking some white eyeliner, we're just gonna do all of our lines on our face that we do. I do these lines just to sort of open up the eye a bit more. It's sort of a theater trick to add lines where you want them, um, or add white where you want to be seen from a mile away. So I want all this to be 
really white and gorgeous and you can see it from close up on the stage and far back on the stage. If I were to pick any queen to do their makeup, I probably, I mean, I would, I think it'd be fabulous to do RuPaul's makeup. That'd be great, but I wouldn't have a clue on what to do. I'm so upset that we never got to do a makeover challenge because I think from the queens that were still left, uh, they probably would have done like sisters episode or whatever. And instead of a design challenge, it would have been a makeover challenge. So I think it would have been fun to be paired with sister. Maybe not, my hair makeup on me would have not looked good. Uh, probably. You know, either probably Ahura or Lawrence, um, as I'm like closest with both of them on the cast, I'd probably trust them more to do my makeup than, <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe Bimini or a sister who do like, Bim girl, Bimini wears no makeup, hardly to none. She's like glossy lip and a smoky eye, and, or a, a smoky lip and a glossy eye even sometimes, because she's fashion vibes, she's a model, and uh, I'm a man, so I need makeup. <laughs> it's a brick though, the face is a brick. Okay, now we're gonna take a really small angled brush and we're gonna dip into the lighter brown color and we're gonna add some eyebrow flicks. Girl, lick your brush sometimes. And we're just gonna add some flicks to make it look a little bit more realistic. Because we're going for realism here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so now that we have dusted that all off, we're gonna go in with the KVD this stuff and we're gonna just start uh, putting some color back into the face again, just like we normally do. KVD this stuff, oh yeah. That's how you get a brand deal. <laughs> so funny, like all the makeup that I've since received from being on the show and all the lovely products that I'm so grateful for, like a lot of my makeup has changed like products that I used, like before I didn't use a Kat Von D <laughs> contour or, or I didn't use like, mm, I did use NYX. And there's some stuff that I didn't use before that I do now since I've got them, which I find like, I've always said this where like, if you start off with the cheaper products, learn how to use them and then get the more expensive stuff. Anyways, we're gonna still go in with affordable makeup with the Give Face Cosmetics palette. And we're gonna go back in with these two shades just to add some more contours, deepen the face a little bit more. Blend everything back over together. And then going in with your blush brush and um, knocking off the excess that you used on the Panto runway. If you want to go watch a tutorial, make sure to go check it out. And um, we're gonna go in with the two orange and like peachy blush tones. And we're just gonna start blushing the face. And then going in with a small little angled brush, we're just gonna take some of that contour shade and run it down our nose, just to add some more color into our nose as well. Okay, now going in with a Gift Face lip pencil, we're just gonna outline our lips. Okay, so now that we have outlined them, we're gonna go in with the Gift Face Cosmetics in Clone Liquid Lipstick, and we're just gonna stick to that uh, color in the lines, basically. And then going in with the MUA Lip Lacquer, we're just gonna go in and add a sort of an orangey tone to it. And then just to go over it, we're gonna go over with the KVD Cosmetics Lip Gloss, just to make it nice and shiny. Okay, so now that the face is pretty much complete, I'm gonna go off camera, do some little finishing touches, wigs and lashes, and I'll be back with the finished look. And this is the finished look from the finale of RuPaul's Drag Race UK season two. Having this opportunity to be on Drag Race season two is so special and it's such a momentous occasion for me from when I started doing drag to where I am now. I'm so proud of everything that I've achieved on the show and that I made it to top four, but unfortunately, wah, wah, didn't get the crown, but who knows? Maybe there'll be an all-star in the future. You never know, you never know. I'm not gonna put it into this, put it into the stars, put it into the satellites. Maybe there might be, who knows? 
credits for this look. The jewels are by Dragged Out by London. I literally messaged them being like, girl, I need some fierce AB stones for this look. And they sent me them gorgeous. The hair I done myself with just two wigs that I bought off Amazon. And the gorgeous dress is made by my friend, Call Me By Sophia. And nails for this look is done by the amazing Lunar Nails. And if you want to get some money off on nails by Lunar, make sure to use my code DIAMONDS20 for 20% off your purchase. I am so excited once COVID is done and we can go on tours and start doing shows because we haven't done anything since, you know, getting on the show. So once we're able to do tours, I'll be coming to a city near you. So make sure to come out and see me. How we're going to have a camp all time, get drinks, get drunk and perform the house down. I want to give a massive thank you and a shout out to my photographer who has been helping me throughout this entire process of Drag Race, taking my photos every single week, as well as the editor who's been editing the photos, Luna Faye and Retouched by Ryan. Make sure to go follow Doll's Head Wigs who supported me by sending me a couple of wigs during this time. And a massive thank you to Christopher Hardcastle Costumer for giving me a couple of little pieces here and there, like my coat that I wore for the Michelle and RuPaul interview, as well as my Bing Bang Bong look, as well as my McDonald's costume for the uh, premiere, uh, as well as what other stuff has he done? He's done uh, eh, eh, and my Roger Red costume. So he's made all those costumes, so make sure to go follow him. And if you want some fierce costumes, then go hit him up. I also want to give a massive thank you and a shout out to my friends who have helped me for the show, Anne Spank, Nata Caramelli, Auburn Rose, and a massive thank you to Sam Marshall for doing my first two Dolled Up With Diamonds, and an even bigger thank you to Chris O'Mara, AKA Blame The Edit, and Demi for helping me film these last two tutorials for you guys to enjoy. This whole Drag Race experience has been so much fun and I'm so, happy and excited that I was able to share this moment with the people that I love as well as new people that have been following me. If you want to make sure to continue to follow me on all my social media platforms, they will be linked at the top of the description. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for future content from me, Ellie Diamond, as I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials in the future. That YouTube is something I definitely want to get into for doing wig tutorials, sewing tutorials. So if there's anything that you want to see specifically from me, make sure to say it in the comments below. Thank you all once again. This experience has been so much fun and it's sad that this is the last doll up with time, but there will be more videos in the future. So make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Have I had anything? Oh, I lost my voice there. Um, excuse me. Period. Right. <coughs>